Hello and welcome to today's video. The case we will be discussing today comes with revealing and disturbing CCTV footage. Viewer discretion is advised. On the 1st of September 2020 at around 2.30 a.m., 32-year-old Lorraine Cox was on her way home from a night out with her friends in Exeter, Southwest England. After being followed and then eventually approached by 24-year-old Iraqi asylum seeker Azam Mangori, a drunken Lorraine Cox had a sexual encounter in an alleyway shortly before walking back to Azam's flat located above a kebab shop. The CCTV footage you see here is the last time Lorraine Cox has been seen alive. After their sexual encounter, they both seem happy and at ease with each other on the CCTV footage. You can see them walking close to each other with not a worry in sight. Little did Lorraine know that she was walking next to a cold-blooded psychopath and this would have been the last night of her life. Lorraine Cox remained missing for a week before detectives were able to arrest Mangori. Upon his arrest, it had been revealed that Azam Mangori had a fascination with amputation, regularly looking at videos and pictures of people with amputations, as well as leg deformities and a woman's leg experiencing severe cramps. It was discovered that Mangori had cut her body into seven pieces over the course of seven days, performing a neat and professional amputation of her limbs. A week after the murder of Lorraine Cox, CCTV footage shows Azam leaving his flat with a large Sports Direct bag containing Lorraine's body parts. He had disposed of the bag in a nearby forest. Police had later found the bag and were able to confirm that the limbs were in fact from Lorraine Cox. Azam Mangori would go on to claim that he was innocent, saying it was due to the drugs and alcohol in her system. He said that he panicked after waking up and discovering Lorraine's lifeless body. I just remember waking up like it was a nightmare. I just freaked out when I saw her. I just dragged her onto my bed because she looked really cold. Deep down I knew she was dead, but I thought she would wake up." End quote. Thankfully, the jurors dismissed his claims and he was found guilty of the murder of Lorraine Cox after six hours of careful consideration. On the 7th of April, 2021, Azam Mangori was sentenced to life in prison with a minimum term of 20 years. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you're listening to this and you stayed until the end of the video. I really, really appreciate all you guys' feedback, whether it's hate, love, anything in between. I really, really enjoy reading through it and incorporating it into my next videos. If you have any tips, anything, please let me know. I love reading all of your guys' comments. Thank you.